Hi, I'm going to walk you through how to create a progress monitoring data sheet using Google Forms. So first you're going to go to New, More, Google Forms. You're going to give it a title. So this is, I'm going to use the student's initials. Twenty 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 one, and the first question is going to be the date because you're going to want to know which date you took this data on and it's going to automatically change to date for you. Now you can do one of two things. You could just keep adding questions for each goal or I like to add sections for each goal because sometimes my goals are staggered and I want to know the see the progress of the student's goals. So I'm going to add a new section. You could do it either way. Each time you add a section, it adds a new page to the um, when you do the responses. So if you don't add a section, all of your data is going to be on one page. If you do add a section, you're going to have to hit next to get to each goal. So the first section is going to be basic reading. And then I'm going to put the basic reading goal here. Student will read 35 sight words at the pre primer level. I'm going to do the abbreviated version of our goals, just so you get an idea. So that's the goal. I'm going to add a question. So I want to know the number of words of pre primer words read. And I'm going to leave that as a short answer so that, and it's going to say it's a number. Right? And it's looking for, it's going to be looking for a number at that point. Right? So that's that. So now I might go on to my basic, my uh, math reasoning. And so maybe this one, <clears throat> I want the student will identify and no value of all four coins. This is why I do it in sections because there's two skills here. Can they identify the coin and can they know, know the value of the coin? So I'm going to add a question. And I'm going to say, he, what can he identify? And then I'm going to give a checkbox. And I want to know the coins that he can identify. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. And since this information stays the same, I'm going to copy this one right here, copy, and change it to the value. Do they know the value of those the same? So now my math reasoning is done and I am going to go to a little bit more complicated one. So my student has this really complicated goal. I'm going to go and copy paste it and then show you how I would set it up. Okay, so this student has a morning and afternoon routine goal. So the goal says by 2021, he will, given a schedule, he will take care of his belongings in four out of five trials with three or less props. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a morning. So then I'm going to do an afternoon and I want to know what skills he can do and how much prompting. So I'm going to use the checkbox grid. So the, these are the skills. Can he take care of his coat, his backpack, his lunchbox, and his iPad. And then in this column, I want to want to know how many prompts. Zero, one, two, three, or more. All right, so that's that one, that type of goal, and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. 
And let's see this one. Let's do one that we can use a drop down. So student. Um, it's a writing goal. Give it a word, think. Student. Will write a will write four sentences that are five words at length. I'm just making one up. So for this one. When I add, I want to know the number of sentences he did at five. So I could just do a short answer, or I could do a drop down. And in my options of my drop down, did he do zero sentences? One, two, three, or four. That's just so you have an idea. So within that, you can see that each one of these just happened to be, this one is two, two uh, questions in each one. And if, this, if for some reason you wanted the value above the identify, you can click on this little waffle and drag it and it will move it that way. You can switch it back and forth that way. That's one way to do it. So. Um, what it's going to do now is when you let's look at see what it looks like. Let's give it a name there, and we're gonna look to see what it, what you see when you view it. So they're gonna want another date. You can hit the little calendar here, and on this day, how many words did he read? He read twenty four. And this one, he identified the penny, the nickel, and the quarter, and he knew the value of the penny. And this one, um, I probably would have put zero prompts so that I know. I should have put zero prompts, one prompt, two prompt, three or more prompts. So if he was able to get his coat with zero prompts, his backpack with one, his lunchbox with one, but it took two for the iPad. And then... Um, probably should have made an afternoon one of those two. So you would just add a question and add the afternoon for that. Sorry, I missed that. You get the idea though. So, and then here you can pick the number of sentences that he was able to do and then hit submit. And then let's submit another several, a couple different responses so you can see what it's going to look like. Maybe today you only did 15. He knew these ones and he knew the value of that. And he wasn't able to do anything. He did it all by himself that day, no problems. And two. And let's do one more so you can kind of see what, how the graphing looks. Just a second. I the words read. He read. 12 that day. He only knew the penny and he didn't know the value of any of them. Let's see, he knew the value of the quarter. And he needed a lot more help today in the morning. And he was able to. Alright, so we're going to go back and you can see here that three responses have been submitted and you can look at the responses and you can view. In a couple different ways. Here's going to tell me the dates that we did them and here are the overall summary of everything. So he was 67% of the time he was able to do the penny, the nickel, only 33% of the time the dime and the quarter. And that kind of shows you that way. And then here it shows you the number of prompting, lays it out for you. 
And then 67% of the time, he could do two sentences, right? You could look at a summary. You can look at it by question. Different questions. Or you can look at it by individual response. So on this date, this is the information that I put in. From there, you can have it create a spreadsheet for you. So I'm going to create it. And then once you get going, once you have a lot of data, you could, if one of the ways that Google presents it isn't what you want, you want more of a line graph, you can go through the process and there's lots of tutorials online on how to create graphs with, with the information that you have. So I um, hope that helps a little bit. If you have any questions, let me know.